Why is it the U.S. is going past 3% GDP growth and we haven't seen that for so long? Because we're not competitive. So do you like what you're seeing in the U.S.? It's a very attractive place to invest right now and the market has certainly been very buoyant there. Just think about it. You can, you can choose Mexico, Canada, and the United States. The money's choosing in the United States because 21% corporate tax rate, no carbon tax. And here's the secret sauce they did that we didn't even see coming. They allowed companies that are investing capital to write it off in 12 months. So are you giving a lot of credit to Trump then here? You know, I don't like to pick sides in politics, but I just say policy. Policy there is extremely attractive for people like me as an investor. Yes, I've done well in the United States. I'm allocating new money there. So are many other Canadians. We have to make our country more competitive. We have earnings coming out in the U.S. next week. You said we could expect to see some really big fireworks here. Oh my here. goodness, the earnings are going to blow you away. Because all of the companies in the Russell 2000 that used to pay 31% corporate tax rate now pay 21. So the cash flows are going to increase dramatically, not just this quarter, for the next two years. So that's going to be a very attractive place to invest. That's why you've seen so much money leave the energy space in Canada to go into the energy space in the, in the U.S. Cash flows are going up, corporate taxes are less, no carbon tax, deregulating very, very quickly. It's a, you know, for me, when I come back here, I, I, I ring the bell saying, wake up, everybody, wake up. The, there's a global competition going on and we're losing on every front. We've spoken about tariffs between China, the U.S., possibly Canada down the line. And I like how you said it's almost like a dance is forming right now between the U.S. and China. Yeah. Well, Wilbur Ross yesterday, Larry Kudlow yesterday, yeah. the president himself, um, all went on the air uh, globally and said, look, this is the beginning of a, a protracted negotiation. We don't want a trade war, but we want more balance on tariffs. The market has interpreted that to be a positive thing and came roaring back. We've had a thousand point swing in the last 24 hours. So there's volatility back, but the optimism of earnings, the optimism of global trade, a more balanced environment. Trump, it turns out, looks like he's a masterful negotiator. And Kudlow coming out saying, you know, Trump is really a free trader at heart. Yeah, Larry was a great addition to that team because, you know, he'll always be in Trump's ear about how important it is to make sure there's a balance to the policy. Because he's been in that, he's been a free trader forever. You know, he believes in a strong dollar. Most of us that are investors are very happy to know he's in there helping make sausage. He's whispering in, in Trump's ear. And that's, you don't want to see them make sausage, you just want to taste it. And I think the policy that's going to come out of there is going to be very tasty.